Okay, so I'm good to hand over. So let's start the um, What's New in Scent Kits webinar today. I'm going to hand over to Lisa. Lisa, welcome. How are you? I'm great, great. Trying to keep warm, but all is good. I'm looking at Tracy's video and I feel warm already. So all good, all good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so thanks very much, everybody, for joining us. Welcome to St. Kitts, those who've been here before, those who join us for the first time. Great to have you. It's always nice to hear people who want to hear about our island, and we're always very excited to talk about it. So I'm Lisa. I'm based in the UK. I'm your contact for all the marketing and anything St. Kitts, really. Um, with me today, I have my colleague, Graham, who everybody knows, um, hopefully all good. <laughs> and he is the newest sink. It's expert. So anything at all that you need, Graham is the man. He's traveling around the UK um, all year round. So any trainings, any activities, anything at all that you need support for with sink. It's Graham is the person. If you can't find him, make sure you come to me. And with us, of course, we have Tracy. Tracy rep is from Essential Detail, and Tracy represents one of our newest properties, Sunset Reef, and she'll tell us all about it in a few minutes. So thank you very much for joining, and I'll hand over to Graham to start us off. I'll share the screen. <laughs> I just need that screen. Yep. And we're away. Oh, fasten up your seatbelts. We're off to St. Kitts in the Caribbean. Yeah. Are we there? Yep. Yeah. Uh, one minute. Uh, there we go. It's all good. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us and uh, as we find out what's new in St. Kitts. But a couple of interesting facts before we start. Um, did you know the locals from the island of St. Kitts are called Kitchen? Kitchens? Kitchens? That's it, Kitchens. Thanks, Lisa. Um, and also, um, we're very proud of the fact we're a small island. We've combined with um, Nevis and combined, we are the smallest country in the Western Hemisphere. Did you know that? Oops. Can you still see the pictures? I can't no, see anything. I'm, I'm, I'm setting everything up again. <laughs> Hold on. Yep, you can see. There we go. We're back there. Yeah. You're just seeing the southern peninsula of the island there in St. Kitts. And we are the smallest country in the Western Hemisphere combined with Nevis. So that's an interesting fact. And another fact that we're really so proud of uh, on the island is at the World Travel Awards, which are like the Oscars uh, 2022, St. Kitts was voted the best dive destination uh, in the whole Caribbean. So how's that? So if you've got any clients who love diving, the water's so clear down there, some great dive sites, please think of St. Kitts if you've got dive people and want to go diving throughout the Caribbean. St. Kitts should be up there. Now from turquoise waters, and lush green mountains to warm sands and gently swaying palm trees. St. Kitts is a tropical island like no other. And we are going to see what's new and venture deeper into the beautiful island of St. Kitts. But let's first tell you a little bit about the islands. Now, as I mentioned, the independent twin island federation combined with Nevis is considered the smallest country in the Western hemisphere. It's very easy to get to. Uh, from the UK, it's just a nine hour direct flight. It touches down in Antigua and then on to beautiful St. Kitts. But it's great if you do want to twin center it up with some of your US colleagues and people want to venture into US. And um, it's only three hours from beautiful Miami and just four and a quarter hours from New York. So the ideal destination to twin, twin center it up with a US base as well. So the agents are on today from the US. It's so easy to get to, and we welcome your clients to St. Kitts. Now, as I mentioned, BA fly down there, British Airways from the UK, they fly down there twice a week, touching down in Antigua, but on a Wednesday and Saturday mornings. Um, you can fly with British Airways into Antigua, and then you could twin centre it with Antigua um, and just get a Lear flight hop over it only takes sort of 20 minutes or so, so very, very close. And also um, from Barbados, BA and Virgin uh, flights fly into Barbados, and you can catch the LIAT flight uh, every Thursday. And again, it's a very short um, hop from one island to another. So ideal island hopping throughout the Caribbean and St. Kitts is quite a special destination to visit. Now, when you do touch down um, at the airport, and we have a very lovely surprise for your clients who want to book the Cajun Jet Lounge. It's a very boutique airport service. 
Uh, they can pre-book lists through you, through the agents, it's commissionable. So please uh, do have a look, see how you can book it. And just to show you how stylish it is, your clients are met at the uh, foot of the steps of the plane in a Porsche 4x4 and whisk away to the private lounge. And whilst they're in there sampling some of the chef specialities, um, the concierge service will arrange to have your luggage collected and brought to you. And all the other paperwork is done. So your clients just finish their um, welcome champagne and a Caribbean speciality snack. And then they're whisked off to their respective hotels. What a great way to arrive in St. Kitts. And you can also do it on your departures as well. So if they want something to um, remember St. Kitts by, what a great way to uh, have a final remembrance um, and memory of St. Kitts by visiting the Cajun Jet Lounge. And that Porsche 4x4, oh, what a fantastic arrival and departure experience that is. Now, once you're on the island, uh, what can we do? Well, there's 101 things to do, and I've just highlighted a couple of things uh, you can do now. You can zip line with Sky Safari through <laughs> the rainforest. And trust me, <laughs> you will scream. Your clients will scream. Uh, you're 250 foot high in the air, and uh, you go through the five zip wires through the rainforest until you come to the big one, the boss. And then you <laughs> take that leap of faith, and you could reach speeds of up to 45 miles an hour on that zip line. And that is when you start screaming. I've done it, I know, and I have screamed. <laughs> now, if you like to be firmly on the ground, I would recommend um, if you want to go exploring in the rainforest, an ATV quad bike uh, through the rainforest. They're organized tours. They are um, fantastic. You're going to get muddy. Don't wear your best stuff because it is a very sort of muddy spray everywhere that you'll have a day to remember. Now, also to do on the island, you could actually... Um, organize a hike up the center mountain called Mount the Amarga, which stands, I believe, I've been told and I've rehearsed this, because you never need to know when you need this information, the mountain in the middle of the island, Mount the Amarga, stands at 3,927 feet above sea level. That's 3,927 feet above sea level. And you can do the, um, uh, is it the six hour hike all the way up there, but I really do recommend you do it with a, a local guide um, and they will take you the best way up there. And also with that rainforest, there's an abundance of wildlife. And some of your clients, if they're uh, twitchers, they can get the binoculars out and see some fantastic Caribbean birds down there as well. Some great uh, colorful plumage and some howlers down there, some great birds unique to the Caribbean and unique to St. Kitts. Now, if you're like me, you do like to be along that beach, you want to explore the coastline, there is an abundance of um, beaches to discover, from crisp white sandy beaches to a nice sort of um, black sand up in the north coast with a black rocks area. Um, it is a quite a unique coastline that uh, is around St. Kitts. But if you do like to do more, you can go um, kayaking across the narrows between the two islands. You can go deep sea fishing. Um, you've got fresh tuna, mali mali um, is available down there. You can cook it, it's all, what they call from sea to table as well. You can uh, fish it, take it home, get it cooked by a local chef, and you can uh, experience the fine catch of the day that you've actually made. Um, and there's a great range of water sports available as well. You can go to Cockershell Bay and Reggae Beach and hire your paddle balls, your kayaks. Um, even jet skis as well. That's all available down on Reggae Beach in the South Peninsula of the island. And as I mentioned at the beginning, um, St. Kitts has been voted best dive destination in the Caribbean. So make sure if you've got any clients interested in diving, that you recommend St. Kitts. Now also on the island, there's loads of um, activities to do. And I experienced this the last time I was on the island, just a few short weeks ago, I did the uh, Sugar Train. It's an 80 mile, um, trip around the north side of the island and what better way to explore the island but see some of the old sugar mills that are still there. Now sugar production only finished in St Kitts in 2005 so there's lots to see on that beautiful journey around and to make it even more colourful you have some local petitions dancing and a choir and there may be one or two little rum punches involved in the trip as well. So make sure you book your sugar train ride it's a beautiful way to see the island. Now 
also on the island is world famous for the UNESCO heritage site Brimstone Hill Fortress. Now this was built in 1690 um, by the British uh, army down there. And OMG, when you see it, you see how vast it is and you just wonder how did they do it? Some of the walls in the fortress are over six foot thick. Um, it's an amazing site. And as I say, it's considered the UNESCO uh, heritage site in 1999. And uh, blessed Queen Elizabeth actually um, put, uh, unveiled a plaque in there in 1985 saying it was a, a national park. So great history and historic venue is Brimstone Hill. It's a must to see if you're on the island. A couple more tranquilo things you can do. Um, you can hire a local artist and go painting. You can set up your easel in one of the sugar mills or a location around the island and just have a morning painting with one of the local artists and see what you can do. And you can bring your canvas back home with you and hang it pride of place in your household. Or if you like cooking, you can also hire a local chef. Now, remember in uh, St Kitts in July, we do have our restaurant week where we get loads of uh, restaurants involved and they do taster menus for you to enjoy. Uh, that's in July. But outside that period, there's some fantastic cuisine to have throughout the island. Um, but if you just want a one-to-one, -one, you can hire a chef and they will come to your hotel, or your villa, or into the actual restaurant themselves. And you can actually have a dine experience um, from farm to table, we call it, and you can cook it and you can eat it there and then. Now, romance, we all love a little bit of romance. Um, and St Kitts is considered a beautiful place to experience either a wedding or a honeymoon. A couple of really good facts to know. Um, there's no residency period needed, so you can actually turn up uh, and marry somebody on the same day that you meet. <laughs> if you're big enough and brave enough and strong enough, you can do that. Um, and there's no licensed venue requirement. What does that mean? You can get married virtually anywhere on the island in some of the most popular places, obviously in your private location of your villa maybe, but the beach is up there with the sort of turquoise waters and white sands. But look, some people have experienced getting married on the catamaran, the Brimstone Hill Fortress is a, a nice place to get married. You're never ever going to forget that. And some more Romney Manor is a historic place on the island and absolutely beautiful to get married to as well. So romance, think of St. Kitts. <laughs> now, as you mentioned before, St. Kitts and Nevis is only like a couple of miles apart. And every March, there is a, a charity swim from the two islands. It's easy to do. But if you're not a strong swimmer, I would highly recommend you jump on a water taxi. It only takes six minutes from the two islands. Um, you come from Reggae Beach to uh, Wiley Beach in six minutes. It's about 20 US dollars uh, each way. Or you can go on the public ferry, um, which comes from... Uh, Hooks, uh, Zanti, and um, it takes about a 45 minute trip down there as well. And that's uh, more the local uh, people get on there. You want to mix and mingle with the local petitions, it's no better way than the public ferry. Um, or you can go on the new um, the Seabridge car ferry, which takes about 20 minutes um, and comes from Mayers Bay down in uh, Cades Bay as well, on the sort of south side of the island. So that's between the two islands, very, very easy. You can go to Nevis and back in a day or if you wish to go to Nevis and stay a couple of days and then come back and explore more of St Kitts. Now, this is what I'm really excited about is our online training course for you guys. Uh, we are all on the same side. We want that information there at your fingertips. We want your clients to have a fantastic vacation down in, on the beautiful island of St Kitts. But you need the knowledge sometimes how to sell it and how the best way to sell it. And we have our St. Kitts Rewards Program, our online training program. And what I'm doing now, there was an incentive um, to complete our online training. It's, uh, it's there. You can see all the details there. And um, there was an incentive. And I'm going to extend that in incentive for another seven days. So if you complete the online training, um, you'll get a nice welcome package from me. And there may be um, some goodies in there as well. Complete it. What's today? So, so if you say by the 20th of October, if you complete it by then, um, you get a beautiful, colourful certificate saying you're some kits and kits specialist. And then um, we will follow it up with a brochure, a map, uh, a guide to the island, and there may be a nice branded water bottle or a rucksack in there for you as well. Oh, um, Alan, if that's not enough, once you have all that newfound knowledge of some kits and you do make a booking, um, we are going to reward you with 50 pounds for every booking that you do. 
all you do once you've done your booking, it doesn't matter where they stay on the island, what hotel, um, seven nights or more, we will give you 50 pounds. And all you have to do is just log your booking, of course, on my booking rewards, and that money will be credited to your account. Now, the title of this presentation is What's New uh, in October 22 in St. Kitts? What's new in St. Kitts? Well, there's lots to come in your way, so get ready and be excited. But first, we want to tell you, um, on your flight over now, um, you have to fill in your uh, pre-arrival online immigration form. That is a must. You must do that. They've done away with all the entry testing and vaccination requirements, which is great, which is going to make you be able to sell the destination much, much easier. There's no barriers to sell. But what they've done also to speed up entry is we ask your clients, as many other destinations do, just do your pre-arrival online immigration form. It takes 10 minutes. You can do one per family. And a lot of, as say, Caribbean countries are doing this now. It's just rather than writing it out on the plane and trying to fill it out and trying to find a pen, you can just do it online a couple of days before you arrive. And it's all picked up on the computers. And when you arrive, it's a straight, smooth process and you're on the island to enjoy it. Now, that's one of the things that's new. And also, we've got a great new marketing campaign coming your way. And I'm going to pass you over to my colleague, Lisa, who's going to tell you all about, about how to venture deeper on the island of St. Kitts. Thanks, Graham. Uh, St. Kitts is such a small island, 50,000 people, 68 square miles. And we've always encouraged our visitors our, who come into coming to see us in our home to explore. So you can stay anywhere, but explore the destination. Um, so that's really what our campaign is all about, inviting our guests to move beyond um, the hotel, go into the rainforest, explore the beaches, get to know the people, hang out at the local bars, eat the local food. So it's really about venturing deeper into the destination to understand what the island is all, all about, understand the life of the people, and only then really you can say you've experienced our island. So it's small enough to do, um, everybody's warm and friendly, um, and we tend to find that the clients who come to sink it's because of the expertise of um, partners like yourself, you tend to match clients very well to sync it. So encouraging them to explore a little bit more. And this is our new video. So slow down, take a breath, take it all in, smell the roses, take the photos, bring the kids, bring the parents, just enjoy the island as much as you could, but really just make it different from the other holidays. That's really what our Venture Deeper campaign is all about. Just inviting people to enjoy our island in every aspect that you possibly can. Um, our, there's a new website, there's a gallery as well. So any of you who are looking for images to promote the destination to your clients, you can get images from there, or you can email myself or Graham and we're happy to send you anything that you need. Facts about the destination, really videos there as well. So anything that you might need to help you to introduce Sankis to your clients, we're happy to provide that to you. If it's not on the website, please just contact us and we will we'll get it for you. And the, the other thing, I mean, everybody knows the Caribbean is about music and food and rum. So every island has its own speciality, whether it's under the counter, as we say, or sold, you know, the legal way. So <laughs> we're promoting now a Romelia program where your clients can get certified in the destination um, as rum 
certified Romeliers. So essentially you'll go through a two day program visiting two of the rum uh, blenders on the island and they will teach you all about the history of rum in St. Kitts, um, how to blend, you'll be tasting different types of rum and you become certified. So imagine being an expert rum taster. I mean, that's another incredible thing that, think that you can do in the destination. So that's quite new. Um, we don't have the launch dates as yet, but it's coming up very soon. So we just wanted to prep you for a little bit of excitement on the island and we'll share the details with you as soon as um, we have them. So Romelia program certification in St. Kitts. And there's also another new um, item, uh, getting between the islands. So the Dutch Caribbean is quite close to St. Kitts. We have Sabre, Stacia, and St. Martin. And a new ferry service will be running between St. Kitts and these islands for your clients to go on a day trip. So we've always talked about, and we always get um, questions about, you know, the islands are so close. Why can't we travel by boat between them for clients to explore? Now we can get closer to Sabre, Stacia, and St. Martin. Sabre, um, quite, uh, it's a very small island, Dutch Caribbean, as I mentioned, um, beautiful to see, Stacia as well, and St. Martin is a shopping island. So it just gives your clients another aspect, another dimension to their holiday um, in the Caribbean by exploring uh, really the local way. So this will be coming on um, stream quite soon. We'll send out the launch date as soon as we have them, but just really, again, to prepare you and to prepare your clients for exploring more when they come to St. Kitts. And back to Graham. Oh, the hotels. Yeah, we've got some great uh, hotels opening for you guys. Uh, we've got the Koi Resort, the Sunset Reef, and Ramada by Wyndham. That's all ha happening. New openings for properties throughout the island. Now, the Koi Resort, um, which is 10, 10 minutes from the airport. Um, I've actually stayed there in July. Um, it did open in 2020, but it's sort of doing another reopening um, post pandemic. Um, it's a great sort of Hilton Koi hotel. Can we just have a look at the hotel now? So we've got the three hotels we're going to talk about, but the first one is the Koi Hotel. Um, there, you can see what a great location. It's right on the Atlantic side with a beautiful beach. It's ideal for families, couples, and groups. The rooms are very, very spacious. There's 102 rooms all facing the beachfront. There's some studios and some villas there. There's even a penthouse with pan um, panoramic sea views. Um, there's some great restaurants there as well, an Asian fusion dining restaurant, the signature restaurant of the Koi Hotels. Um, and there's my favorite place, obviously, the gym. <laughs> Honest. And um, there's a great pool and spa there as well. But if you've got large groups of going down there, maybe a group of golfers, it's ideal for golfing. Um, groups down there it's right on the dog pools you can see it from the rooms as well but there's great meeting facilities available there as well so that's the Koi Hotel um just having another reopening now we had the Sunset Reef and I'm going to pass you over to the lovely Tracy from Essential Detail who looks after the beautiful Sunset Reef Hotel okay thanks Graham um are you going to unshare or <laughs> do you have my presentation <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll we'll finish up ours and then we'll hand over to Tracy okay oh, yeah, yeah. We'll skip over fine okay yeah all right okay so we got the sunset reef we're going to come back to that in a second but I've actually personally been down there it's a great sort of villa accommodation with just seven units it's a, a very intimate boutique style surround uh, fantastic views over the Caribbean glorious sunsets there and it's very personalized by Mark and Addict, the GM stand there as well but Tracy will come back to you and tell you much more about Sunset uh, Reef in just a few moments and then we've got the brand new opening coming very soon it's not quite open yet but it's the um, Ramada by Wyndham down on the north side of the island now St Kitts doesn't have any all-inclusive hotels their hotels will offer you an all-inclusive options but Ramada is exclusive, all inclusive. The first one on the island. Um, I've been down there in July and I have to say the swimming pool. OMG, the swimming pool is the largest pool I think I've ever seen. It is massive. So great there for the swimming pool. And the whole resort, as I say, is inclusive. An array of restaurants is ideal for families, couples, and groups. There's suites and villas there. There's a total of 273 units and everyone is brand new. It's an ideal time to send your clients down there. And as I say, it's the only all-inclusive uh, hotel right now 
on the island of St Kitts. Loads of bars and spa, which is phenomenal, um, ideal for children. And again, my favourite place is the gym, the fitness room there as well. So that's the Ramada by Wyndham opening very, very soon. Now, what's coming up in November, I can hear you say? Well, for the UK travel agents, we are um, organising a UK roadshow to um, some places around the UK. If you want to take part, drop me a line. We'll let you know exactly when and when they are. they will be towards the end of November. We can give you specifics. If you contact us and let us know. Now, we are also planning. We're very, very excited about this. We are planning a UK-based fam trip. So agents out there, if you complete our online booking or if you make a booking to some kids, do let me know because we'll be selecting sort of eight lucky travel agents to join us on a fam trip, which is taking place at the end of November, beginning of December. But we need to know if you're supporting us, you're selling us, drop me a line. My details are at the end of the presentation and uh, you may be seeing me and my swimming trunks on a beautiful island of some kids. We're even nipping over to Nevis. So we're gonna see both islands. So make sure you let us know if you make a book in and complete the training course ASAP. There's also some new guides coming out, culinary guide coming up, which is going to be included in the selling travel guide. So if you're registered to get that, you will get the new culinary guide from some kits um, and also a cocktail guide as well. Um, and we are very excited about that. We'll be launching this on our Rose Show as well. We've got some little bottles of rum we can give away and you can make your own cocktail. And keep your eyes out on my book and rewards because we'll be doing some promotions maybe where you can um, take some pictures of your cocktails that you make from the book. We'll post them and uh, there may be a little prize in there for you as well. So keep your eyes open, see what the uh, we're going to do on the promotional side for the cocktails. And of course, the culinary guide and cook some beautiful local dishes, especially exclusive to St. Kitts in the Caribbean. Oh, it's exciting. Now, there's my contact details. Um, it's very easy. Graham.Hawkins at St. Kitts Tourism. And my lovely colleague, Lisa, is there as well. And um, there are contact details. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you didn't need any support or help, if you do the training or you make a booking, if you want me to come and visit your store, um, I do do home visits, <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> um, but if you do want any support in any way, what we can do, we will there to be there to help you. Remember guys, we're on the same side. We want make, to make sure your clients have a fantastic vacation down in beautiful St. Kitts. Great. Thank you very much, Graham. Uh, we're going to hand over to Tracy now. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Um, I hope that you've gotten some bits about um, what's new in St. Kitts. Graham and I are um, available for any questions, and we'll hand over to Tracy now to talk about Sunset Reef. Over to you, Tracy. We're not hearing you. You're on okay, mute. can you hear oh, me now? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, let's get to the beginning. Can you see my screen okay? You can, yep. Okay, perfect. All right, for those that don't know me, um, I'm Tracy and um, I head up the Essential Detail team. Uh, we are very lucky that we represent 11 luxury boutique properties across seven islands. And today I'm going to be here talking to you about our newest property in our portfolio, the lovely St. Kitts Reef Hotel in St. Kitts. Um, so, as I said, this is the newest, uh, it's one of the newest properties on the island in the village of Trinity. It is, as Graham mentioned, just seven suites. It's a boutique property perched. It's an elevated property perched, perched above the Caribbean Sea. It has really lovely unobstructed views across the water. And obviously what you get with every Caribbean island, those lovely tropical sunsets. So what you will see, and I just want to highlight um, the beach area here, this is, we're having a lot of sand imported. So this actually will become a sandy beach and there is a sandy beach just literally around the corner as well. So just to make sure um, you can see it's quite elevated, uh, but there will be a sandy beach here eventually. Um, it's not quite ready just as yet. Uh, now this hotel is perfect for really being an uncommercial resort. As you can see, it's got lovely turquoise waters, this lovely lush green um, garden areas either side and across the back here. It really is one of the tropical paradises of St. Kitts. As we say at Sunset Reef, it's a sanctuary and it's for those that are seeking a relaxing and intimate setting. 
And our sort of slogan strap line, if you like, is let people come here, refresh their body and soothe their soul. You might want to remember that, you never know. <laughs> so I'm now gonna move on to the suites themselves. So they're very much designed to blend together timeless elements. We like to provide our guests with a really unique tropical experience. And it really does give you understated luxury. So the suites themselves are really light and airy and they range from one bedroom to four bedroom suites. A lot of them have additional sofa beds. So um, in the lounge areas, so we can sleep up to quite a large family or group um, if you have them coming down there. All the suites are actually sea facing. So you will get those lovely um, evening moments on the terrace or lovely moments during the day, just sitting there chilling, reading a, a book um, and lovely you know, views across the ocean. All the suites have inlaid electric sh uh, showers, ele and I have to say this quickly, electronically adjustable king size beds. Uh, we do have twin beds um, in some rooms as well. We have the finest linens and we have cool to touch local coral tiling on the floors. So whether you actually just reserve one suite or the entire resort, we're actually fantastic for buyouts. Your clients will enjoy uncompromised luxury throughout. The gardens themselves, as I said, they are elevated, so not great for people with walking challenges um, or those that are physically challenged. So just be you know, a little bit careful when doing those types of bookings. But your, client, your clients can stroll around these lovely manicured gardens with views over the turquoise waters, lots of plant spotting. But during the day, really what you need to do is keep an eye out and watch out for turtles, dolphins and jumping fish in the ocean. It's not unusual to see all of them. And then in the evening, what nicer than to sit around one of these fire pits, enjoy a lovely cocktail and enjoy one of those amazing sunsets. We have a large infinity pool. As I said, this hotel is spanking new, so everything is absolutely brand new. And we do have waiters that will come down and serve you those gorgeous cocktails, or if you just want a chilled beer, glass of water, rum punch, um, they're all there at your service, and they will bring you snacks down as well. So moving on to um, Graham's favorite activities really. And um, as we all know, many people since the pandemic have become more increasingly aware of the importance of health and wellness. And at Sunset Reef, we do offer a full range of activities from yoga and yoga retreats to full on private training sessions. We have a state of the art fitness center, which I believe Graham spent nearly all his time in when he was down there for a couple of days. Um, but we have an indoor and outdoor training areas in that fitness center. We have an Olympic weight lifting platform, lots of benches and weights so you can do all your free weights. We also have the bikes that you can see in the picture here looking out over the ocean. And in addition to that, we do have bikes that you can take off resort. So they actually have wheels on them as well. And you can cycle around the areas outside of the resort itself. Spa treatments, we have a spa there and we can have, you can have massages in your room or you can come out onto the massage platform and actually have your massage overlooking those stunning views again. Food, um, food and beverage at Sunset Reef. What can I say? I think this is, uh, I've yet to go there myself yet, but this is the bit that I'm really, really looking forward to. So all the suites do have fully footed kitchens and guests do have access to the outdoor kitchen, which has a grill and pizza oven. So if they want to cook themselves, we can arrange for grocery packs and they can actually do that. Uh, we have two bars on property. We have the beachfront bar and then we have the poolside and restaurant bar. So guests can visit that. But if they really do want to experience Sunset Reef, we have a truly incredible culinary experience awaiting your guests. So guests can really enjoy world class cuisine here at the hotel. We have the Drop Anchor Grill, um, and this has a, an amazingly strong commitment to both quality and environmental sustainability. Most of the produce or nearly all the produce that we use here is locally grown or locally sourced, like from the sea and from the land. 
You could go a step further and have private dining. Um, and the private dining can be out on a sandy beach uh, with your own waiter and server that will cook for you and then bring and deliver the meal to your clients. We can arrange for beach picnics so your clients can relax in the sun. We can pack up um, beach chairs for them, umbrellas. We call it a beach chair, an umbrella combo. Uh, the hotel will organise the transportation and we would actually take them to any beach they want to on the amazing island of St Kitts. And we will pack them a very substantial, lovely beach picnic. Or if they'd rather come back to the hotel, we can actually arrange for a beach barbecue. But it's a, a barbecue without you doing the work. And that's what we all hate at barbecues, because there's always someone stuck there flipping the burgers or the, the lobster, in this case, most probably. But leave it to us and they'll actually cook. The staff down there will cook and serve your barbecue for you while your guests will relax on the beach, swim and enjoy their cocktails. Another option, which is becoming increasingly um, for people that really do want to do something a bit different, is catch and cook. So you could take a chartered Caribbean fishing trip adventure, go fishing, catch the Mari Mari, the tuna, the red snapper, bring it back to the property and the staff will either arrange to cook it for you or you could take it to the outdoor kitchen and arrange to cook it yourself in one of the ovens. And then last but not least, the private chef, uh, chef, which I think, again, was touched on in Graham's presentation. With all this gourmet food, it really is like a once in a lifetime pleasure. But at Sunset Reef, it's not just a wonderful experience for your taste buds. It's also a wonderful experience for your eyes, as you can see in the pictures here. And again, here's just one of the shots from the beach area. So your sunset private dining um, and the bar area, the elevated bar area, just to have a look at. So weddings, again, just touching on those, all resorts do do weddings. Um, we don't have like a tailored package. All our weddings are bespoke. Um, so whether you want to have a honeymoon package, a wedding package, renewal of vows, anniversary, engagement, whichever it is, the concierge team down there will happily sort that out for you and give you and have an amazing backdrop with those lovely sparkling waters and the lovely sound of the sea in the background just coming up and kissing the shore. So Graham and the team there touched on the activities. There is lots to do um, around the resort and the concierge team will arrange any of the activities that your guests may require. We do have paddle boarding, paddle boats, kayaks, snorkeling, beach volleyball, all available at the hotel itself. But as I said, if you do want to venture out further, we can do that for you. The concierge team will also arrange things like movie nights, karaoke nights, um, trivial pursuit nights, trivia nights, etc. All the excursions um, and we have everything. Um, we'll have a lot of packages that we'll be promoting throughout the next sort of, you know, six to 12 months. And whether they're based on like wellness retreats, fitness goal packages, adventure packages, and if clients do want to arrive by private jet, we actually have a private jet that we can pick your clients up from any island and bring them over to the lovely island of St. Kitts. And the private jet may even be if somebody wants to do a buyout of the whole resort. So remember, we are really good for buyouts as well as just individual trips. Now, I couldn't leave the, um, the actual property without talking to you a little bit about sustainability, um, a game which is really, really key now um, in, in the world. So Sunset Reef has implemented a real number of sustainable actions and moving towards more of being an ecologically sound product and property. So from the hotel structure itself, to the linens that we use in the bedrooms, to the food that we source locally, our water purification, our native gardens, and our whole geothermal system, which actually helps with all the air conditioning and heating that swimming pool that I mentioned earlier. All of this happens behind the scenes. It doesn't interfere with anything that your client's doing, but your clients will, your guests, our guests will experience a really elevated luxury holiday, but whilst keeping the integrity of the land all intact. And that is, as I said, becoming more and more important today. So that is Sunset Reef for you. Um, and I hope 
we will see some bookings from you in the future. We do have some availability over Christmas. So if anybody's got any last minute um, bookings they want or a large family group looking for a buyout, I think there are dates around the Christmas period that we can help with. So again, quickly there is my contact details. And we are looking to launch an incentive where you can actually win five nights down there. I'm just waiting for the final details to come out, but I will um, be following up on this call. So we will be sending you the details of the incentive of how you can win five nights. And please visit our website for more information um, on St. Kitts. And also we do have a little property over in Nevis. Um, so you may be interested in that one as well. I'm doing a twin center. So thanks for listening. Um, and if there's any questions, um, fire away. <laughs> Great, thanks Tracy. Um, always looks amazing that property. I've been there myself as well in March. Beautiful, love the views, food is fab. There's a little bar, I um, can't remember the name of it, but lovely, lovely views at sunset, really amazing. So great place to be with a small group, but just your significant um, other half, really beautiful. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't on camera. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> now, now we see you. And now you see me. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just checking if there's any questions. I know you've been answering a couple um, about the training programme um, behind the scenes, Lisa. If anybody's got any other questions, please fire away. Um, I think there were a few in the, in the chat. Um, oh, yeah. Sandra's just asked, did, did you say it was seven rooms, Tracy? Yes, I did. I just type an answer. Yeah, it's seven, uh, seven in total, one to four bedrooms, but we can actually make a six bedroom suite as well. So um, when people have a buyout, we can actually interlock it into six bedrooms. OK, super. That is great. Um, I think we've got one more question that's coming up. Oh, no, it was Sandra saying thank you. Thank you, Sandra. OK, so if we don't have any more questions, um, we're going to we're going to go to Graham so that he can Indeed. ask you a question. So we've got a prize today of uh, it's £50, $60 prize for the winner. As always, everybody's entered into the prize draw. If you answer the question correctly and you are the first person, you get 10 entries. So you do get an enhanced chance of winning. Um, so if everybody can go to um, chat and make sure your drop down says everyone. I'll just give you a moment to do that. Um, I uh, know Graham's already got his question ready. Oh, I've been practicing this question for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, right, are we ready? I just want to, before I give you the question, I just want to, again, reinforce the fact that, that our online training, please guys, sign up, do the online training. You'll get your goodie bag. Remember, we extended the incentive down there. If you want the cocktail guide, let us know. We can send it direct. It be, should be available by the end of October. That's some great information for you guys to learn about um, the Caribbean and especially St. Kitts. Remember, it's coming up to our winter time. So what perfect way to send your clients down for a little bit of winter sun in beautiful St. Kitts. The temperature very rarely drops between sort of 25, 28 degrees. So great place to experience maybe Christmas and the winter sun. But here is the question of the day. Are you ready, guys? Here it comes. Now, in the presentation and in the middle of St. Kitts, there is a great big mountain called Mount Liamaga. And the question is, how tall in feet is Liamaga? It's a six mile round trip, takes a, a few hours to do. Recommend you do it with a petition height, uh, guide, but how many feet is Mount Liamaga? Yep. Graham, you, ju you just mentioned the center of the island and we've already got a correct answer. We've I know, I saw that. <laughs> the center of the island. Quick fingers, fast fingers, my but, goodness. Okay, it so took just, me ages just, to measure it. I've got to say, I was there for like four days measuring it as I went up. Excellent. Just, just to clarify, is it 3,927 feet? Uh, it is on a Wednesday. Excellent. Well, Kate... You are the correct answer on that one. So, wow, big well done. I wouldn't have clocked that at all. So uh, thank you everybody for listening. Also, um, just to add, a lot of people were asking in chat for the videos, Lisa, for the social media. So will you be able to send the link out when you do the follow-up? Just Absolutely. To we, have different, we have different lengths. We have a 15 second, a 30 second and a 60 second. So, you know, I can send that out. Um, just a note as well to, um, the we have a new travel guide that's coming out. And Graham mentioned the culinary guide. Both of them will be distributed with Selling Travel um, in November. 
So if you're a subscriber of Selling Travel, you will get that new sync it's information. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe now. And if you don't, just contact Graham and myself. And once they are launched, then we'll send them out to you. So no problem at all. With the cocktail guide, you might even get a little bottle of rum to make your own cocktail. So it uh, seems pretty obvious to me what to do, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, excellent i'm looking forward to doing the rum um yes. certainly send out the the recipes and um i'll send my photograph of my creation yes. across to you that's right that's right <laughs> i have to taste it though huh? so oh, i don't know how we're gonna get that work you, in Mauritius. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. you might have to come here <laughs> i have um, to come out yeah <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots of people are asking as well and um, when you do the follow-up for the training um link so again yeah. if you can yes. pop that in for them um everyone's flashing up training link training link so i yeah. just had to mention it um mm -hmm. massive massive thank you to graham lisa and tracy for the brilliant um information that they've given us today and a big thank you to all of you for joining us and if you're watching us late afterwards then you know thank you for watching as well um if you do have any questions reach out to graham lisa or tracy um and i think that's it from us do you have anything else lisa graham no, just, um, just see you in St. Kitts. That's right. That's right. And big thank you. Really appreciate it. We're trying to do regular webinars as well, bringing our hotel partners on. So the next webinar you see from St. Kitts will be a different partner. Please join us again. There's always something new to learn about the island. So yeah, see you next time. Super. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>